Well, here's a shot in slow motion, and if you watch very carefully, you'll see the helix broadhead actually sever through one of the stems of grass before it went right through the animal. What an incredible result. Welcome to the Ultimate Bird Blind. Today, I'm going to attempt to take out a few pesky magpies with my new monster chillar. I've got some bait laid about 20 metres away. Now this bait's just dog tucker that we normally throw on the roof of the shed to defrost before feeding it to my mutts. It's a natural attractant and there's always magpies hanging around. I'm going to be shooting through this window, hopefully going to be fairly well concealed from the magpie's sharp eyesight. About 50 metres to my left we've got a redwood tree. Magpies nest in this redwood tree every spring and they're a real pain. Anyone that's been dive bombed by a territorial nesting female will know exactly what I'm talking about. They're incredibly aggressive and nasty and vicious and totally unappreciated. I had attempted earlier to take a few out with a shotgun but some of those results weren't that good. Right here. Right beside the fence. Shit. So it's a hot summer's afternoon here. I've got nothing better to do. Let's see what happens. later. That was a lot of fun the other day. It's about as much fun as you can have with your clothes on. I got lucky a couple of times and it's definitely made the magpies a little bit more wary and they're a little bit more careful about where they snack these days. It's a hot midsummer's afternoon here in New Zealand and with the stags and velvet it's not really the best time of the year to be out hunting the hills so I'm resorting to doing things like this to entertain myself. It didn't take long before we had a couple of customers lined up at BJ's Kebab Cafe.
so you want venison and a trophy stag turns up. Lucky he was out of range, I may not been able to help myself. I'd let Bambi's mum walk. She was still milking, she still had a calf on her, and she probably wasn't in the best condition for eating. I was gonna hold out for a better eating animal, pure and simple. The night was still young, and hopefully I'd have luck on my side. Whether he jumped the string, but of both perhaps, I don't know, but he's history, he's not going nowhere, he's down for a count. Venison for the barbecue. Whew, no blood trail there. Oh man, the monster chiller. Whew. Well, a slowed down version shows at 30 yards the reaction of string jump and the result. Oh, here it is. Arguably some of the finest venison dining you can get as a fallow deer this age. The shot's gone right through on the angle. It knocked him off his feet instantaneously. It wasn't the best of shots, but he was over and out in seconds, so a pretty good result despite that. And I'm going to be very popular. I've got some very good eating for the barbecue here. The monster chiller has performed once again, but isn't incredible. I, I think looking at the at the uh, replay of the shot that he did definitely jump the string, and it just goes to show that even a very very super quiet bow like the like the chiller, um, you have to be pretty careful. I probably should have aimed a little bit lower, but once I get home and analyse the shot over and over again. I'll probably know more about what happened. Um, yeah, couldn't be happier. Right.